A very good morning, students. We are in our regular class lecture, and the subject is the wood dressing. And the topic which I will try to cover is the cone crusher, the sledge roll, and the hammer. And the book which I referred for this topic is the course in mining geology by Arogya Swami. So the very first thing what we are going to see is the cone crusher. The left side image shows the sketch of the cone crusher, which consists of a feed hopper. So this one is a feed hopper. And then the feed distributed plate tray that is here. Then there are fixed jars which is here that is number three. And the breaking head. So this is the breaking head with the check plates which is fixed here. And there is a spindle here followed by the bevel gear which will pass the rotation action and that drives the breaking head. And there is a pulley drive which controls the movement of the bevel gear. So this is the parts of the cone crusher and the cone crusher breaking head height to diameter ratio is in 1 is to 3 in the ratio and the throw of the head is also greater and it is the strongest it is stronger mechanically with a high movement of materials and the reduction ratio of the cone crusher is very large due to the relative large crushing area and the reduction ratio ranges from 1 is to 7 to 1 is to 5 that is if you put a material of say 7 cm in this portion that is in the feed hopper you know, whatever the material which you get is say it is in the ratio of 7 cm that is the 1 is to sorry 1 cm that is the 1 is to 7 ratio so this is how the cone pressure is working so the feed is uh, deposited that is uh, through this portion and this feed is uh, distributed through this plate and whatever the feed that you passes from here will be crushed in this region that is the breaking portion and this breaking portion can be uh, maintained this manipulated that you can reduce or increase the size with the help of this uh, pulley drive okay and the second thing is this sledge roll which is also called as the giant roll which comprises of uh, two rollers with a size of say three feet to six feet in diameter which have a knob they rotate inward that is these rollers rotate towards each other and the material whatever you put here will break down by the hammer option of the knob or the slugs the size of the discharge may ranges from 4 inch to 8 inch so that you can fix according to your requirements the action of the slow speed machine is mainly nipping and compression so if the machine is move is in a slow speed so whatever material that you put that will use here will be nipped and compressed and get be discharged here and if the machine is of a high speed then will be there will be the sledging action that will just break the material and throw it out from here right so this is how the sledge roll is uh, working and the next one is the hammer mill and this machine comprises of a roller so this is your roller which consists of two circular discs which has uh, say one two three four five six hammers attached with this and they are pivoted and the rotation is rot and the rotor is rotated by the axle so this is the axle right and a grate or a grizzle is present at the bottom so this grizzle or a grate consists of small pores or holes through which the crushed material will come out okay and the hammer will swing out under the action of centrifugal force so when the disc is rotated the hammer will move uh, freely due to the rotation and due to this rotation the centrifugal action of the hammer will hit the material which is in the breaking plate so this is the breaking plate whatever it is here the hammer will break it due to the centrifugal action and this is how the hammer mill is working is that clear so in today's class we have seen the three machines the first one is the cone crusher where the material will be very finely crushed through this and the second one will be the sledge roll or the giant roll uh, in which you can simply compress the material or you can also break the material according to the size and the third one will be the hammer mill where the breaking is done by the hammer action <coughs> and the crushed material will be thrown out through this uh, grizzle or the grid. Thank you.